war. War never changes. Okay, so... That was an interesting, divergent piece of gameplay. Come on, do it, do it. We ended up bumping into a glowing Deathclaw, another different variant of Deathclaw. And he was a big one too, he was quite big. He was easily the toughest one so far, but then again I didn't have my shotgun in his stomach, but I don't think I wanted to, because he took a beating. Compared to that bitch one that we just shot once and we instantly killed it. Though we did have a, a very high crit, so it makes sense why we, we hurt him so much. I want to crouch here because I would like to take advantage of the fact that these people and the robots they have might not necessarily see me coming if I can do this right. But I don't know the topography from where I am. Uh, maybe I can see it a bit better now. Here we go. So, what is this? I see a robot and I see somebody with the robot. That is a mannequin. I see pretty low hit chances. I see another person with another robot. Hold up. See that? That's some scary numbers right there. Mainly because it didn't kill. Bollocks. And they're coming. So, we need the shotgun on. Fighting them. She's doing a good job, that's the question, I can't tell. That did a good job. She's got like, wow, she's got super crazy Superman eye lasers. Look at the slow motion punch. Here it comes. You ready for it? Fire and the smoke on this game is really nice. Oh, you're doing a really good job of not dying. I would have died, but look at her parrying. I'm kicking ass. They're both parrying. She do. Fuck off, you. Sure thing. Coming to tickle me. Should tickle her. She's the tickler, not me. I'm very serious. I take myself really seriously. Can't you see? I'm using a shotgun with fiery flechettes. Snip him in the wood. Are you getting shot or guy just there? See ya. So these gunner guys have somehow took over the vault, it seems. There's a guy just he's trying to flank us, but he's lost us. <laughs> you dumb bastard. Just uh, I helped him out a little bit. I want to shoot him and get some points back in this leg. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem with the human body. Sometimes when you shoot it, bits fall off. Hitting her and I'm building crit. Makes no sense. Look at it. How does that even work? I'll take it though. <laughs> that was a sneak attack? Why? Bitch is blind. Whoa. That was the sound of the water in the radiators getting hot as the heating comes on because it's pretty cold in my room guys you don't often hear me say that but it's just cold overall so I've just popped it on for a little bit just to perk it up because my hands are getting cold and when your hands get cold it can affect the way you play you always want to try and have good hands if you can 
It's not that you can't just, you know, grit your teeth and bear it, but why would you when you can make the situation better? Hey. Carry some shit. Can you take a little laser rifle? Yeah, you can. Me? And what we'll do is I'll drop the shitty super heavy rifle. Hey. Get that rifle. That's pretty cool. She's telling me that it's worth something, and it is. In the grand scheme of things, I just don't want it. What I do want is good shit in here. The problem is, I'm going to be quite full, and she's full. So if there is a ton of stuff, there is a legendary turret. Wow. Can I get to a position where I can shoot it and it can't shoot me? Wow. That turret had no chin. <laughs> Ooh, there's a... Whoa! Green laser gun, man. Firing weird green laser gun. Can we get the next one, please? No. And dead. Drastic boy, no. What was he shooting at me? Some kind of green laser gun. Was it one of the plasma things? Bloodied knuckles, plasma cartridge, and a plastic plasma pistol. Yeah, we're gonna have to leave, guys, because we've got way too much stuff to be going into a vault where we're gonna get way too much more stuff. So, I want to bring a plasma pistol with me, actually, because I, I like the idea of it, and I haven't used it yet. And I want to use weapons that we haven't used as much as I want to use. Interesting, the lower your life, the better that knuckle duster does. It's pretty cool. I took some of his armor, and it's obviously really heavy. The chest pieces. There we go. Yo! Psst. What is it? I want you to pick the shit up. Hold. Leaving me behind. Didn't Grab say that. hold. I want you to get, get that. that. Will do. Bring that here. What is this? A little ball sacks just chilling out. Okay. Can I please fast travel? All the way back the way we came. To this pleasurable 19 people 81% sanctuary. You are running out of time to complete your objective. <laughs> That's because I'm not doing it. I don't want to do it. I shouldn't have to protect these places that I've built to be protected and then the, for some reason they're just not. It's really annoying. But that's the thing. I thought I'd built them better than that. Apparently I was wrong. It just goes to show though, there's a ton of attention to detail. But it's all involves investing a lot of time. And sometimes it's time doing stuff that perhaps you don't really want to do. So it can be it's a pretty tough call sometimes. Look at that, all the bones with the cutting fluid. I should give her some grenades. Like some molotovs, maybe. I could make a ton of molotovs, I just don't want to. Because it's one of those things, when you make a million of something, that's the moment you need one of the components that was in it. And the moment you've just used it. And you've been saving them forever, never needing them. The moment you use them is the moment you need them. Sod's law are all over the place. But you see how much experience I'm getting just from doing this? It doesn't look like much, but it really does add up. It adds up really quickly. And before you know it, you've leveled up. And you've not done anything, really. It's such a great economy of growth. I, I really do think that Bethesda understands that very well. Everything you do is a progression. None of it feels wasted. It's really good. It's clever, too. And that's just makes it so much better. Because you can put thought into it, you can put strategy into it, or you can just completely ignore it, because it's happening regardless of if you want it to or not. And I think that that's wonderful. So, is she going to be here? Trash bag Carla? You know what? Since we talked, I'm feeling... But there is a shopper person here, so I suppose we can use you. <clears throat> what can I get you? Uh, 
Uh, I just want to sure. sell you some shits Let's and get some caps, if that's okay. While I wear my ridiculous outfit and buy a beer off you that I didn't want. Right. So, I have some of these weird armor pieces. Because you, you must love armor, because of course you're selling alcohol. And those two things go hand in hand, right? Military fatigues. Two agility. We've currently got one agility and one perception. I'm kind of digging the extra perception, even though it's not giving me the biggest advantage. It's still an advantage. Let's dump this off here. Store all junk. Heads up. Then we go. I love it how these people are trying to sell me on the establishment I started. Tell what you need, and I'll get right on it. It's hilarious. Guys eating noodles. Doing a terrible job. They're not going down yeah. unless there's some kind of crazy infinite sauce of noodles, and then good job, dude. Hey. You look like someone that needs a drink. You think so? Let's see what you got. What does that drink. mean? Exactly. That doesn't sound like it means anything good. I need to be careful here because she might not have the ability to pay me back with stuff. Thirty-three. Is that better than mine? I don't know. Short laser. There you go. Combat chest pieces, cause why not? Crazy. Look at look at that, dude. She should really wear that, shouldn't she? Let's see if we can give her that. That looks good as well. Dirty chest piece, super mutant gear. Not that bothered about giving it to Strong. She's already got a ton of stuff at the moment. Strong's doing fine in the grand scheme of the game. Have you got any ammo? No, she doesn't have any ammo. Oh, that's terrible, dude. I'm selling this basically for free. Yeah, that's not the best. But I don't care. I just want rid. I got something for it, so it's better than nothing. Got a dangerous look about you. You ain't here for me. Right. So I can upgrade this to make it spiked, but all it does is give it armor piercing and better damage. And if you see that it says better damage, it's up to. So it's not massively. That one makes people bleed, which seems like a much better one. I don't have any. Abilities to make good mods with melee weapons, unfortunately. Apparently Preston liked that. Oh no, I just sold all her armor for nothing. <laughs> sure. That is not the best thing I've ever done in this game. I'm not paying attention. Never mind. We'll get it back in that vault, almost guaranteed. Let's give her some Molotovs. She'll hopefully use them when she's at a decent distance to do so. Right. Hopefully she can wear that. That's left leg, right leg. So she just needs arms. Arms and she's good. For sure. Go. Just keep your shirt on. That chest piece seems to fit her better than it fits me. Hilarious. All my armor's right. I need to drop some of these. Get rid of these two. Everything else I'm good with. But I do want, as I mentioned, to test out that unique... I think it does poison and something else. It's a laser rifle. Uh, like a plasma one. Pistol thing. And it... Poisons and all sorts of stuff. 50% more damage to animals. That one's got unlimited ammo. There you go, that one. Poisons people and it does two different types of damage. That could be cool. Only problem with it, I don't think I can 
upgrade it too well because I'm just not very good at these particular guns. So I think it's got as good as it's going to get really. Yeah, it pretty much has. So I'm going to test it out because I've never really used it. Just to see how it works, how it looks. I've got 86 shots for it, so it could be fun. It's quite a good sight. But we're surviving. It's not the best, but it'll work. Right, let's get back to where we were. Let's get on with this. It's enough shopping. Chances are you might not even hear this, because at this point, if people have said that they don't want me to uh, keep all this stuff in, I might have even edited this section out. <laughs> Someone's shooting at me. Bollocks. Uh, it's just a raider, though. Blob. Blob. <laughs> Why are they so naked when we're outside and it's raining and miserable looking? This looks like another gun that you can shoot them post death. Which I don't understand. That guy was poisoned, that's what that must mean. So when those bugs shoot that shit at you and it covers you in all that dirty brown nastiness, it means you're poisoned. Look alive. And you're probably losing life and not realising it. That's good to know. Because I don't think I quite grasped that. It's left arm. It's potentially right arm. It's not a very good right arm. Every little helps. Keep her alive, though. She don't look half bad. Right, let's get in here. Just imagine if you get that never-ending gamma gun and you're a science build. You've got a pistol that you don't need ammo for, and you could probably make it really good. Somebody left a comment on my channel talking about their build that features a, a laser musket that they're having a really good time with. And I think that gun sounds really cool. I'm just not really specced to use it, unfortunately. And I used it a little bit earlier on. So I'm trying to use like different things, but I'm, I'm super loving my setup of sniper, of silenced pistol, of shotgun for up close. It's pretty cliche, you know, it's, it's the kind of thing I always do in these games. Get a good sniper, get a pistol that I like the look of, get a good shotgun. But I do want to try all the other weapons, like I want to try the, the fist weapons and like the melee stuff because I think it looks like it's going to be really fun to use. So we've got traps immediately. But they're the kind of traps that you'd have to be blind to fall for them. There's a gunner. Looks like we can get some kill shots quite easily. Which I'm happy about. Move out of the way. Maybe they didn't see us. Doesn't say danger. They know something's up, they just don't know what. They're all there. That is a Mr. Gutsy too. Can I shoot your legs and shit? That's 79. It's a pretty good chance. Oh, that is not the damage that it said I would do. You notice that? I wonder what that was about. That says it's gonna kill. It's gonna kill too because the camera. Or maybe not. That didn't even hit. Oh, it's hitting the trap. The noise thing. It's blocking the fucking bullets. That's annoying. Right, you need to go down, Missy. Look at that. The crit was applied to every shot. Interesting. Maybe multi-shot weapons benefit best from critical attacks. I've never thought of it that way. Then again, like that's the type of stuff you think that the primer guide would say, but it really doesn't. It's too busy listing stuff you already have, like statistics for guns that the game tells you about. Like, I can understand having it for for reasons, but there's some stuff that I just don't understand about having. But you notice that a lot on game facts, don't you? Where people who have sections in their in their facts that are longer than the guide, where all they've done is parroted all the information across. <coughs> and I understand it sometimes, but other times I just don't get it. Like You know when they do item descriptions for tertiary items no one uses. It's like this person's a straight up list of maniac and they really like typing these guides. 
so they're just making it as long as possible with as much information as they can and I do think there's somebody that appreciates that but I always look at it as like who gives a fuck dude you've essentially written out all the information the game gives you and I suppose you could say well it's it's useful for when you're not playing you know when you're not near the game but a lot of the information is the type of stuff that you would only really question when it was in front of you. And it tells you the information that they're writing down. It's very bizarre. It's a strange thing we do. I think, anyway. I love going through vaults. That's a trap. That is also a trap. How do you set these traps off? Do you walk past them and they kind of fall? It's what would you think that was? They must have some big flies in here. Like, no. It's a grenade hanging from a ceiling. Who falls for these traps? Like, I'm not the most observant person when I'm talking. Because my brain just doesn't see. But even I spot a grenade when it's dangling in my face like a foreign bollock. This is creepy. Oh, that's kind of weird. One of my cousins, uh, she's got a picture of her and her husband holding her stomach because she's uh, she's having a baby. She's growing a baby inside her. And she's wearing a striped shirt. And it's a love heart symbol that they're making with their hands. It looks almost exactly like that. How weird is that? One of those moments where life just kind of lines up. Crazy. Okay, Mr. Gunner, time to die. Level 41, boys. Does that mean we could do something good? I hope so. We could do rank 4 armor. We can do the final lock picky thing. Crits are done. Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. Is it just level 4 armor? It was Mysterious Stranger, I think. Yeah, that sounds good to me. He appears more often, and when he does, there's a chance he can fill our critical meter. That sounds awesome. I really want more bloody, bloody mess. I keep overlooking it. I need to get to that, but I can only get it at level 47. So level 46, we're going to get bloody mess. Level 47, we're going to get bloody mess final. I do love that perk, dude. But I've never played Fallout 3, so I don't know what it does. Some duct tape. Gas canister. So we're looking for a machine that cures chem addiction. This place is very drippy. You might want to patch up whatever's dripping or turn the tap off at least. You ready? You ready, guys? See if we can spot some duds. The dud removal scheme. So just scanning this, I think that that one is one. That was a, a try reset. Is two brackets together one? It is. That's a dud. And now I can't really uh, spot any of the other presetted ones because I'm not that good at spotting them. That was two brackets together, but it wasn't a dud. Tricky bastards. That one looks like it could be, but it's not. That was one. That was another one. Bloody hell, there's tons on that line. That's another one. Shit. This one's got tons of them. Another one? What? There's going to be nothing to guess from. Like, if every single one of these science hacks enabled you to remove all of the answers except for the right one. I think it would make a lot more sense to me. I don't think I've ever seen a hack that was this friendly. I'm still going to get it wrong. You do realise this. But it's nice to, to feel like you've got rid of almost every single damn answer. It makes it really tricky to read. 
because it's all over the place. So if you look at that, there's still quite a few left. Let's go for spill. It is not spill. Um, through. It's tracked. Your orders. Ensure all residents do not stray from the Vault Tech Rehabilitation Program. It is paramount that it is strictly followed for our research objectives. You will act as any other resident. Your backstory and identity should already be committed to memory and will not be recounted here. You are to work with the Overseer Elect on any compliance issues while ensuring ignorance of your special objectives. After five calendar years, your objective will shift. You will open the hidden storage compartment you were down. You were shown during your training. Allow the residents to discover the stash of chems within on their own. Once it has been discovered, you are to go. You are. You are to to. The fuck. You are to. <laughs> you are to to thoroughly document the response of the community. Take that thing, pour you a drink, and I'll be impressed. Well, if it's not drinking or fighting, you don't seem to care. It's not a very good attitude, you know. Your ass will fall out by the time you're thirty. I've seen it happen. It's messy. So these just... This is like Crack Addict Central. Bunch of nice people, isolated from the world, discover crack. Crack destroys inner city youths. And the vault goes under from... Need something? Chronic crack... Crackerness. They had crack up the Yazoo. That's what it was. If you get cracking in your zoo, you just you can't do anything. It's it's too far gone at that point. You cream crackered. Sunglasses. Only at night, baby. Only at night. Like, can I have the jet, please? I don't want the coffee. That's purified water. Definitely have that. Super disoriented right now. Look at all these cans. Psycho jet. Hell, it's all here. Why would there be a stash in this vault? Unless, oh, vault tech. Those animals. Experimenting again, I bet. Uh, definitely. It's kind of what they do. Look at them, it's everywhere. That looks too nasty to inject that. I don't understand why people inject to begin with. It's something I've never been a fan of. But let alone when it looks mean. Like, you know when you see films that were made in the 70s and every dentist scene features a dentist with a needle that looks like it came out of a torture chamber from the fucking Tower of London? Like, why the hell would you let people put that anywhere near you? It looks like it's going to eat you. 